the last topic for today is departure and how to calculate departure along a parallel latitude this is also known as parallel sailing when a vessel transits along the same parallel of latitude let's take an example here the example requires us to calculate the departure along a parallel of latitude of 60 degrees south from the longitudes if the vessel is traveling from 178.35 minutes west to a longitude of 177 degrees 20 minutes east as you can see this is what i have shown conceptually in the diagram as well you can see the vessel is transiting from a west longitude to a east longitude and although you might think you're traveling in an easterly direction because you're traveling from west to east the vessel as you can see is traveling in a westerly direction because it's close to the correct anti-meridian so in this case the departure or the formula for calculating the departure is departure in nautical miles because it's a unit of distance equals d long multiplied by cos of the latitude d long in this case will be calculated between the two longitudes since they are different linear that is one is in west and the other one is in the east side you will of course add it because different names you add once you add it you see the value is 355 degrees 55 minutes it's named east initially because you conceptually feel as if it's traveling in an easterly direction because it's going from west to east but because longitudes cannot be greater than 180 you will subtract it from 360 and you will reverse the direction because actually speaking the vessel is traveling in a westerly fashion as you can see in the above diagram the answer that you get is four degrees and five minutes west that's the d long but because we'll be calculating departure which is a unit of distance we have to convert this d long into minutes which is a unit of distance in celestial navigation or nautical navigation so to convert four degrees and five minutes into minutes which is a unit of distance you will take only the degrees not the minutes only the degrees because one degree equals 60 minutes that's correct 4 degrees will equal 4 degrees multiplied by 60 is equal to 240 and then you add the remaining minutes to the 240 to get the total of 245 minutes so 4 degrees and 5 minutes will equal 245 minutes and that will be the final d long in minutes why we have converted it just to repeat myself because we are calculating departure which is a unit of distance so we need to have all the units in distance of course 245 times cos of latitude and because latitude has to be calculated in a trigonometric fashion you keep it in degrees so departure if going by the above formula d long equals cos of latitude is 245 times cos of 60 degrees this is how you put it in the calculator and the answer that you get is 122.5 and the unit of departure is of course nautical miles i hope that going through the different examples you will be able to understand how to calculate d lat d long and departure along a parallel of latitude using different examples please go through the examples again for a better understanding